This call may be monitored or recorded for quality assurance purposes. So there's that, um, and then we would like to see at least three months of experience within the manual. Okay. So um, that's kind of where we're at right now. Okay. Um, we're starting at 57 cents per mile. Okay. And that's subject to change upon review based on your application. Welcome back, drivers, to the Recruiter Call Channel. And in this MTC, we're going to be looking at good old Sweet Express out of Grand Rapids, Michigan. If I'm not mistaken, I might be wrong about the Grand Rapids part. But if I'm not, I am sure that they are out of Michigan. Sweet Express, what they got to offer? Well, if you guys are interested, let me let you know from the offset that this is a SAP friendly company. So when you give a call and if you have that SAP on your back, make sure you find out what they can do for you. They offer medical, 401k, vision, life, dental, all the good stuff that you're looking for. They are a family oriented company and have been providing exceptional service for over 19 years. Yes, they take pride in demonstrating integrity, honesty, respect, and dependability. And they're looking for you to provide the same to come and join their growing family. Sweet Express, stay tuned. I was up in the Northeast. I, you know, I was at a truck stop and, you know, me and one of the drivers, you know, we got into a, you know, a decent conversation about each other's companies. Um, sure. I, uh, I came back to a Facebook group that I'm a part of and, you know, a couple of other drivers was, you know, talking about Sweet Express as well, but they was talking about it because of a video uh, that they seen and I and I was I was saying to myself I was like well I'm interested in the company because you know I talked to one of the drivers so is it okay that uh that I can talk to you about the, the company and see what you guys would offer uh so well what I, I can just tell you what what we're hiring for right now okay that's that's fine that's cool. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, we, so, well, um, yeah, we right can, now. Yeah. Go ahead. Well, right now we're hiring um, drivers that can um, both drive a manual and an automatic. Okay. Um. So no restrictions on the license. Okay. And um. Confident in testing out in a manual. Okay. So there's that. Um. And then we would like to see at least three months of experience within the manual. Okay. So um, that's kind of where we're at right now. Okay. Um, we're starting at 57 cents per mile. Okay. And that's subject to change upon review based on your application. Okay. Um, usually takes us about two to four, or, I'm sorry, not two to four, um, about two days to go through and process. Um, and then um, our recruiter usually follows up with you. Okay. Should we need any more extra paperwork or... Uh, questions on your report um we follow up um usually by like day two or three okay so all right so you the the mileage pay per mile uh 57 cent coming in depending on depending on how much experience i got out here yep experience um and then just based on um kind of your driving record and um all right just Things such like that. just that, just that, really, just your experience in your driving record. All right. So if I got if I got like seven years of experience, which I do, then would that fifty seven cent be increased, or would it just be that coming into the door? Um, I'm not too sure. I'm actually not the one that reviews the application and the experience. Um, and I mean, even so, I would say that you know you could have 20 years experience but maybe you had five accidents and five citations for each you know and that would obviously make uh, a difference in pay okay. um so i can't really necessarily tell you an exact um number um based off the fact that i can't i don't have your report in front of me okay so okay all right that's cool to know 
for pre-employment, yeah. for pre-employment drug testing, what do you guys do? Uh, hair follicles, urine, uh, breathalyzer. It's a urine or, test. Oh, it's urine. Yep, it's a urine test, um, and then um, we do accept SAP. Um, so okay. if you've completed the SAP program, obviously there's some instruction um, to return to duty. So obviously, you know, it, it differentiates between everyone. Um, it could be that you do have to take a breathalyzer. Um, mm. But the main um, screening is the urine. Okay. Um, since you mentioned the breathalyzer, I'm kind of curious because the video that's going mm -hmm. around right now, you know, I, I went and watched it myself. There's a driver that claims that they driving with you. They said in the video that they flunk or they blew a negative on their uh, breathalyzer, you know, alcohol. And uh -huh. they, cl they claim that you guys offer them to wear a uh, alcohol monitoring bracelet. Is that something that you guys do? A bracelet? Yeah. I mean, um, I mean, yeah. I'm not An alcohol monitoring bracelet. Like, she... They said in the video that they got drunk. They was on a load. They got drunk. And... They was called in for a random. They said that the company gave them the option to wear a ankle bracelet. I mean, is is that something that you guys do? I mean, if it is, I I, I know some no I, I know idea. some drivers. <laughs> I know some drivers, you know, they they not alcoholics, but you know, they they you know they do tend to drink here and there, but yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I can't tell you a definite answer on that one. Um, is that something that you would uh, struggle with? Uh, no, me or... personally, no. Okay. No, I was just, I was okay. just curious to know yeah. because yeah. I, I okay, mean the video. Curious. Yeah, right. I don't know. I'm not really sure. Yeah, I'm. I'm. No, no, no. I'm. I'm good. I'm good and clean over here. So. <laughs> Uh, okay. but I, I was just <laughs> simply saying that, you know, I, you know, me and the guys in the, in the, in the Facebook group, we was, we was talking about that particular video and we just, we, we still struggle with the fact that is that true or not? I mean, yeah, I mean, that's, that's awesome if, if you guys do that for some of y'all drivers, but mm -hmm. I, yeah, it, it's just a head scratcher for me. So. Um, okay. Yep, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, what about the trucks? Are you familiar with the trucks? What, and, and what kind of equipment that you guys have and what are they governing that? Um, well, it's a little, um, it's beyond my position. So I don't really know too much. It's kind of like foreign language to me, but, um, okay. what I can say is that the equipment is 2016, mm -hmm. um, and higher. Okay. Um, they're, Govern at sixty eight seventy. Okay. So um, that's fair. And that's, honestly, that. that's really all about I, I know, all I know. Okay, but <laughs> they're they're definitely manuals in your fleets that you definitely want the guys to uh, know how to drive, pretty much, right? Yes. Yep. Uh, so once going once you go through orientation, which is two days, mm -hmm. we cover travel and stay. Okay. Um, by day two, you're issued your truck. Should everything go well um mm -hmm. within the drug screening and the road test okay. day one and so by day two you'll get your truck issued um mm -hmm. you're guaranteed a load um at least by day three okay. um if we can get orientation good and done early um you know it's more likely to get a load by day two but awesome. um yeah then you're issued your you're assigned your driver manager as well Mm -hmm. And at that point, you could discuss if you would like to get a load closest to home so that you can get the rest of your things. Um, okay. Or if you'd just like to, you know. Will we be, you know, you for know, continue on for our for our home time? And if you know anything about that, mm -hmm. what, what will be our average home time? Are, are you looking are you looking for guys to, to drive regional? Because I'm up in Ohio. I'm about two hours away from you guys. 
So uh, would would you guys be looking for like regional drivers or are you looking for the full 48? And if so, uh, so what would have, the home time um, be like? We have East Coast Regional um, and we have Midwest Regional. Both of those will get you home weekly. Okay. Um, okay. Guaranteed or weekends are not guaranteed. Uh-oh. Um, you know, like certain days aren't guaranteed. Uh, right. Something that, you know, obviously you'd have to be in relation with, with your driver manager and take that up right. with him or her. Um, and then over the road is um, two weeks out, two to three days um, home. Okay. 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 Uh, yeah. You, you, you can keep the Northeast. I'm, I'm all right. I'll stick with the, re- I mean, the uh, Midwest. I'll go with that one. Yeah. Northeast. No, nah, not 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 too much of a fan, but we 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 can make we we can make it work, I guess. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, do you... uh, we don't have any forced dispatch in New York, so oh I don't no, know. okay, that's something that that's that's only just to New York though. But there is forced dispatch throughout the company, though. I'm assuming. Well, for the lower forty-eight, yeah. Oh, okay, all right. Um, over the road, yeah. Since you mentioned that you guys uh, that you guys do help with the SAP program, do you guys have a refresher course for drivers that haven't been driving a while? Say like they still got their CDLs, but haven't been driving that three months that you guys are looking for. Do you guys have a refresher course for them or no? We do not. Awesome, nope. awesome. I got one more question, and then I'm I'm pretty much done. Do you guys have a sign-on incentive? Oh, wait. Wait, bring it back. Sorry. You said uh you the travel is included. What is the travel to get up to you guys? Well, we either get you a Greyhound or fly you out. Okay. Okay. Well, like I said, I'm about two hours away. So would uh, would you guys reimburse me for okay. my rental? We'll reimburse up to three hundred dollars. Okay, cool, cool. All right. And sign on incentive, if, if any. There's none. Thank well, you, ma'am. Now, I appreciate the time, ma'am. Thank you. Of course, not a problem. All right, now. Bye bye. Be safe. Bye bye. Drivers, drivers, new drivers, old drivers. <laughs> Is 57 cent good for you? I would think so. I would think so. A uh, driver with three months of experience, depending on your your record and everything, I would think so. I, I would think that fifty seven cent would be uh, would be good. Let me know what you think about that in the comments below. Now, as far as the video, um, she wasn't able to like give us a definitive answer to that but by the way she spoke i probably might say that the company might not offer that hmm maybe though maybe though we you know the verdict is still out it's still out. The verdict is still out. But overall, overall, I mean, it sounds as though, you know, this company, they offer two regional uh, runs, one up in the Northeast, which you don't get forced dispatch to New York, and one in the Midwest, which will probably burn anywhere between Minnesota, Ohio, and the rest of the, and the, rest of the states that's in the middle of the Midwest. Of course, you'll get home every, well, not every, you'll get home every week, but the days will be different. Sweet Express out in Michigan. Yes, sir. Is that a company that you could be interested in? If so, you can give them a call. Their information will be in the description below. Again, Sweet Express, those the, those the trucks with the, with the lips. Sweet at Sweet Express. Again, um, they do offer SAP. 
So if you're in the SAP program, they do offer uh, they do offer help for you drivers. And as far as the drug screening goes, it is urine. So, but of course the breathalyzer as well. Oh, and key note here, key note. They want you to drive a manual and have no restrictions on your license. And as she said before, the manual, you had to at least be driving for at least three months. And you and she said that you will be tested out in a manual. So get your sharpen up your skills. Sharpen up your skills because if you've been driving, if you've been driving an automatic for all this time and you decide to get into that manual, make sure you sharpen up them skills because they want you to know how to drive that manual before they uh before they qualify you to come on with that company. Again, we still need answers, drivers. We still need answers. We still need to know if Sweet Express will offer you a second chance if you get a negative either on the breathalyzer or a negative on the drug tests. We need to find out. If anybody there that actually drives for Sweet Express, let us know in the comments below, man. Let us know in the comments below how this company treats you. If you guys like to call in, hashtag negative. <laughs> 216 600 and let's talk about it. Who's next? next.